Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav. So in this video, to, today we'll be seeing about a very important topic, which is currently the most earning branches in medical uh, sector. So uh, as you have done your need PG now, so you'll be having to attend the counseling soon. So during that counseling, you might have to select your branches accordingly and the colleges that you want to join. So as a rough idea, in this video, I'll be telling you about the currently uh, trending branches and uh, which you can also earn very well. Okay, before we start, uh, if you haven't subscribed to your channel, please do subscribe and the uh, ebook link and telegram group link is in description. So when you say that uh, you're going to talk about the most earning branches, but you should have a uh, criteria or uh, you should base it on something. So uh, I'm a PG resident doing anesthesiology uh, in a metro city. So I think no anesthesiologist will interact with all almost all the branches. So you get an idea on how each branch works and um, how are they residency how do they earn all those things you will be able to judge quickly okay so this thing this uh, branches that i have chosen is uh, based on the doctors which i see usually and uh, with their stories how they have uh, done their residency fellowship super specialities and uh, how are they earning now how is the demand so all those things will be, uh, I have taken note into and I have come to a conclusion. So this is just uh, my perspective. So you will have to do your own analysis as well. Okay. So let's start. So each uh, subject and we'll discuss about how the residency will be, how the post residency phase will be, how the earning is going to be after your uh, after you start and how is the demand currently and how is the workplace balance. I think these are the five most important things uh, to be taken note of when now you're going to choose a branch for your life. Okay. The first branch that I have uh, written here is orthopedics. So in orthopedics, the residency phase will be more challenging and tiring. You'll be having, it's a surgical branch, so you'll be having long hours of work and uh, the case load will be uh, coming and coming. So in residency, we will be doing lots and lots of ortho cases. So the residency will be challenging and tiring. So once you are done with your residency, the post residency phase, you can do fellowships. So there are a lot of fellowships in spine surgery, arthroscopy, hand surgery, food surgery, autoplastics. So you can choose either one of them and do, this is not a super specialty, it's a fellowship. So it will be mostly one or two years course. So you can take up on it. For example, the current trend is most of them are choosing spine surgery and after spine surgery, they are also doing minimally invasive spine surgery. So it's some super, super, super specialty. So these uh, things, why are they doing? So I'll, come about it uh, later. I'll tell you why they are choosing fellowship currently in orthopedics. So earning wise, the earning is very good. Better earning, the surgical time of ortho surgery will usually be very less and the uh, fees for it is very good. So I mean, you can earn more in a less surgical time. So when you do a lot of cases, then you can earn a lot very easily. So demand in the current uh, trend is not so great. There are lots and lots of orthopedic surgeons. So you will have to be something special or something different. So that's why people are choosing spine surgery and they are going into minimally invasive spine surgery, which is the current trend to stand out from the competition. So however, if you are good in your work, you'll always be getting uh, patients and you'll also be doing 
cases work life balance is good so except when you choose trauma you might be having lot of uh, night calls but as such otherwise orthopedic uh, emergency cases uh, in your uh, practice during your consultation when you become consultant and when you practice so the emergency case load will be less compared to other subjects now coming to radiology so this is also very most uh, sought after branch by all residents and during the residents because the residency phase will be uh, smoother compared to other subjects so when i say smooth you don't think that you won't have any difficulty like will be very good but it will be smooth compared to other subjects when you choose a residency and post residency may you can do super specialties also in radiology many are doing interventional radiology and neuro radiology the learning curve for radiology is pretty fast so when you pass out of the residency period and post residency quickly in a few years of time you will be able to become a consultant and uh, the learning curve is very fast here. earning is very good you can earn fast uh pretty good but at one point of time it will become stagnant so that is the drawback of this radiology if you see in other uh, departments the, the earning will be going more and more but in radiology it becomes a uh, stand a uh, stagnant after a point of time so the demand for radiology is very great uh, nowadays lot of residents are uh, coming out of the residency and starting to practice radiology so currently the demand is good in future it might change but currently it is good work life balance is excellent in radiology that is the reason why many of them uh, choose this also so in a nutshell smooth residency good work life balance and good earning so yeah the third thing is obstetrics and gynecology See, this is not just obstetrics this is obstetrics and gynecology so residency phase will be tough compared to other subjects because you will be having lot of emergency cases it's uh, obstetrics may almost uh, you'll be getting uh, emergency cesarean sections and other dnps all those cases and also the case load will be very much during your residency period and uh, uh residency course itself it's structured in a way that it will be challenging and post residency phase you will be uh, you can do fellowship you can the most sought after is the ivf fellowship in, uh, and uh, the other fellowship which are done are usually gynecological oncology and uh, but most sought after is ivf because it is uh, very it can give you very good earning as well as good name also the so learning curve is fast so once you pass out of your residency you are not doing any fellowships in few years time you can start your practice also and the earning is good earning especially in ivf so it's obstetrics and gynecology gynecology is an evergreen branch you will always have cases no matter how many doctors are there so the case load will always be there as long as the population is rising and uh, so the case you post your residency i don't think you'll have great difficulty in finding cases but uh, you should if you are too good then you can become consultant even faster and work life balance is not so great because as you know you can be called for emergency cases especially if you are in practicing especially obstetrics then a lot of uh, emergency cases will come at night also in gynecology it is uh, our class balance is pretty better now coming to the another evergreen branch that is surgery so the residency phase is very tough and very tiring because uh, of the long working hours and a lot of cases that you will have to see post residency it is currently the trend is it is almost mandatory to a super specialty after surgery so the most sought after branch is onco surgery 
and next is euro and gastro and then neuro so onco surgery you will be able to um, have variety of cases and uh, so the patient that you patients that you get will be more and euro surgeries are short surgery and you can earn more and the prognosis of euro surgery is uh, very good so your patient uh, doctor patient relationship the satisfaction so all those things will be good. gi surgery is evergreen so you'll always be getting patient and neuro surgery is also very good learning curve is very slow it will take a lot of time for you to become a consultant and have a good practice so you will have to do 3 years of surgery 3 years of your uh, super specialty then you will be working under a consultant uh, to learn things and then slowly you start getting your patients and then you will be uh, you will be becoming a consultant so it will take some time but the earning is excellent but it comes very late so it will take time but the earning will be good and the earning also varies upon different branches so uh, it depends on different branches how much you earn and uh, it will take some time demand is currently it is not so great because lots and lots of people choose surgery and they come out so everyone wants to stand out so they do some super specialty they specialize in some specific things so they want to make their own name for something something special so that is what the current trend is so if you are a general surgery then general surgeon then it becomes difficult for you to find cases the work life balance is not so great emergencies uh, long ot so all these things are there the last and final thing is internal medicine so this is also an evergreen branch so residency period is quite tough you will be having a lot of uh, patients because uh general medicine a lot of patients get admitted and uh, you will have to be seeing all those cases so apart from that you will be doing other paper work also such as admission discharge all those things which are there in other branches also but the case load in medicine is too much so all these things are to be considered post residency you will be uh, doing super specialty so it is very uh, mandatory for you and most sort of the branches are onco cardio neuro and gastro learning curve is pretty fast you can uh, once you are out of residency and once you are out of your uh, super specialty period like in surgery you don't have to work under some consultant uh, you can directly start your practice so the earning is excellent but it varies upon branch to branch and the demand currently is not so great if you are just a general medicine doctor so you will have to specialize in something and you will have to do certain different things for example the current uh, uh trend and thing is that people who choose cardio they do interventional cardiology and then in interventional cardiology they specialize upon certain things such as uh, transcatheter valve replacement and uh, those kind of uh different and uh, new things so you will have to keep upgrading yourself in when you are in general medicine that is very important work life balance is not so great but it depends on branch to branch course. for example if you are choosing uh, endocrine the uh, emergency case might be less if you are choosing cardio then the emergency cases might be more and more so it all depends so all these five branches that i have told you is based on what uh, i have seen and based on my experience seeing all of them so you will have to make your own analysis you can uh, consult about these to your uh, friends or doctors who are there around you and uh, you can uh, come to a conclusion later and then uh, choose a branch for yourself so all the best i hope the neat exam was very good and uh, you have done very well so i hope you get the branch of your choice and college of your choice all the best